Hello everybody, this is the DTC Enchanter, and welcome out to a redstone tutorial. This is a tutorial that this project here can be done in the current version, the current snapshot of Minecraft, where that would be week, crap, what was it, 13, week, oh, 3B or something like that, I don't remember. So, this clock, what it is, it's a four-faced clock that tells noon, or no, dawn, noon, dusk, midnight. And it'll do that on all four faces, assuming that you build something at the bottom. This is meant to be like the top of a clock tower. And if you build the rest of it at the bottom, then it'll work. So the first thing you're going to need to know about this is that you need this pillar here. This will go through the entire length of your tower. And at the top of it here is where to, oh, you know, the top of it be. To start out this tower, you're going to build out with some redstone here. Drop some blocks in front of each of these bottom redstone lamps. Uh, this middle lamp stays on. It's it, it, it's just for aesthetics. And you want to put a torch on each and every one of these blocks. And like so. So, okay. so let me explain this really quick. The way that this design works is it's spaced off of the principal. I'm sticking an AND gate in front of each one. And then using this to tell if it's new if it should be along this axis, the noon midnight axis, or the day dawn axis. And then each one of these also have a daylight sensor hooked up to it that'll tell it more. Actually, can this one be? No, it has to be a repeater. And trying to build this, so this is the minimum size I that you can make it, and it still looks nice from all sides. I'm gonna like that. And one more. So, I'm working, so the first thing you're going to want to do when you're building this design is you're going to want to build, well after you know, you build the room and this tower of torches here, is you're going to want to work on the bottom lights because it's the easiest one to do, easiest one to set up. And finally we do this, or what was it, it was like this I believe it was. And now it's fully functional. So this bottom one now. When this light is off and it's nighttime, meaning that there's not two ticks of redstone here, then it'll turn on all four of these. And this clock isn't perfect, but it does the job it needs to do, and it does it very well. You're also gonna want to use slabs in every place you can. Just trust me, it looks nice. It's easier on the eyes. So once you finish the bottom row, the next easiest one to do is gonna be the top row. And to be able to do that, we're going to place blocks like so, with redstone dust on top of each one. I'm going to stick slabs out of each of these blocks. Two, three, and four. I'm going to stick them out like so. Have a block on each one of these ends of the redstone lines. Like, oops like so, and put a torch on the end of each of these blocks, like so. And also we're going to need to hook up, oh, oh yeah, we're also going to need to hook up the daylight sensors. One is, so you're going to want to put them on the right of each one. You could technically do it on the left, but I'm doing it on the right for the, it's just easier for me to understand it when it's on the right. Weird noises. I'm also going to put blocks about each of these redstone lines. More slabs like so. Three and four. Redstone dust on each one of these. Block here. Two, three. Come on, come on. Three and four. And then one two, three, and four. And now you have the top ones hooked up. To be able to get out of here, you're going to have to break one of these blocks. But you're going to want to, of course, replace it and just put that one down. Now let's see. If we break this torch, signifying that it's going to be along the dawn dusk axis, and go time set night. Uh oh. 
Something's wrong. Um, that was weird. What's going on? It shouldn't be a loop. Let's try that again. I haven't seen that one before. What did I do? So obviously I did something wrong. It's right above here. Which is a half slab, so it should be able to work. I'm really kind of confused. It must be receiving light from oops, somewhere else. Maybe it's like the torches or something. Let's try that again. That's really weird. <laughs> That's actually, yeah. So let's try moving this one back a block then seeing what that does. Time set night. So the reason it's looping around once. Okay, so I fixed it. This, so you want to make sure this daylight sensor is far enough away from the lamps. But it's not affected apparently. That's really weird. Huh. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Oh well. So yeah, there's probably s there's definitely some improvements that could be made on this design. It's not perfect. I'll tell you that. I'm not a perfect redstoneer, although I do what I can, and I think I do good at it. I think I do well at it. Excuse my camera. Uh, blah blah blah. So the next thing I'm going to work on is the last two here. The hard, tricky part about this design, and the part that took me hours, is getting these two to be opposite of each other. Because this one and this one are so close together that it's really a challenge. So again, we're going to want to use our AND gates. I'm going to put redstone dust on top of each of these, and on top of this one, a block. I'm going to put two blocks here of torch on this one. Two, three, two redstone dust, and a daylight sensor. And now it'll differ differentiate the two between day and night. And we're also going to want to go underneath those. Drop one. Um, do, do. Let's actually make this a full block. Put a half slab underneath it because you need a signal to travel down, and the signal does not travel down on a normal block. So now we're powering. Okay, yeah. So now we're powering this block. I'm gonna put two torches underneath it like so, and now that one should be on, and this one should be off. And time. Uh, I'm terrible at typing. Time. Ah. There. That one should be on. This one should be off. Using a very compact AND gate and NOR gate in the same spot. It's pathetic how many hours that took me to figure out. Like five. I was first trying to do this, like pistons and stuff, but you know, that didn't work out as well as I hoped, so I decided to try out. I eventually got to the point where I tried out just this design and it worked well. So, this design is what I'll be using. Jump up with a block there and there. Torch there and there. Redstone dust on both of these. Smack a block there, there, there. Dust, dust. Sensor. Torch. And cool. Let's work on this side too. So I am showing this on camera. I probably shouldn't be, but uh, yeah. 
Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video here. I hope I remember the mapping I did for that. But yeah, I'm gonna pause the video here and come back when I've finished all of this and show you how to do what you want to put right underneath the base of your tower in the foundation. Um, yeah, I think that's what I want to say. Yeah. See you when that's done. Okay, so I finished up with that. And now this design is going to be fully operational, assuming that you have the thing at the base of the tower. I'm going to build that outside. Just imagine that this is at the top of a tower and... Oh uh, yeah. It doesn't look very good in sandstone, but sands, nothing else looks really good at sandstone. That you have half slabs of, because you need that half slabs in certain spots, if I remember correctly. No, actually, that might have been in one of the bug designs that doesn't work. But at any rate, that's what we're going to want to do. I'm going to set up the room. It's going to be... Uh, yeah, let's just do it like this. Put you on top. And go one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll set up the room off camera and be back when I'm done with that. Never mind, that's right. I said you build it in a foundation. So what you're going to want to do is get a block. And just... So let's say that the top of the tower, um, walk up to your tower and in the ground is a good old-fashioned daylight sensor. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Put a block of redstone dust on it like that. Dust, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You probably want to, you know, build this underneath your tower. Let's assume like the entrance of the tower is right here, and you have symmetrical things here, and your door right here. Cool. Oops. Cool. So you have your door here. Kind of use these as like aesthetics or something. I don't know. You can you can figure it out. It's your tower. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm probably not gonna wanna go over this. Seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, there we go. No, gonna. You are going to want to temporarily clear out this floor here. I don't know, it's not symmetrical. I can make it symmetrical. Um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Like so. And one more should be unpowered. Perfect. That's what we want to see. I want to dig out all of these blocks here. I'm going to replace these blocks. So yeah, you can make this room symmetrical by knocking out... Or by putting a floor here. I'll just knock it out here because it's kind of bugging me that it's not symmetrical. <laughs> Oh uh, boy. Um, so yeah. And um, for places for torches, I want to put one torch here. One torch. Oh man. One torch here. And one torch here. Yes. And I'm gonna get a sticky piston and put it right. So let's see, where would the center of the tower be? It would be so it's this is the middle. So it's seven by so it's seven, eight, nine, eleven. So it's eleven by eleven. That means the center is gonna be at six blocks in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
So the way that I guess you'd want to make your tower is make it so that it, it like it's smaller as you go up, kind of like a round pyramid type of a deal, kind of like that, but on a larger scale. Because you want right here to be the center. I've decided this is now the center. Yes, you are center. I'm gonna bust out the floor. And let's see, let's go right here and put a sticky piston. Put a block on top of it. Smack out a pita down here. Three tick delay. And go out like so. Uh, this one's probably also going to need one. Let's see. It. Can I put it right here? Yes, I can. Drop you. Put you. No, you need to be repeater. Three tick delays. Uh, it's not necessary, but it's good just in case something weird happens. I don't want to put your block here. Torch. And just start towering up with these torches until you reach the top of your tower. So the piston thing I'm creating is a quick pulse thingy trigger. I can simulate what happens when I do. It should just be emitting. Oh yeah, it's emitting a longer pulse because these ones are also on. Normally when I built it, it was in somewhere else. I'm going to have to make this a little bit wider. How am I going to do this? Let's put a repeater here. Block here for redstone on it. Block on top of you. And I'm going to go... Excuse the clicking noises. Oops, uh, it's a thinking thing. Block. Dust. Block, block. I'm gonna put you, your block, and that's not gonna work. <laughs> I just need it bright. Um, where? Huh? How am I gonna do this? Um, yeah. Sorry, this is a part of the design that I had not done before. Kind of regretting not doing it before. Uh, hmm. 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 Very tricky. Say so if I put no R. Let's do some redstone trickery. Put you here. I need a block of redstone. Like a so. <laughs> oh wait, Arrgh, girl. This is really testing my patience. I know, I know. I'm not smart. I'll just put it over here. <laughs> That'll do it. You have to give it, yeah. You have to excuse me. I'm a not. This artist person out there. Things that are obvious aren't always obvious to me. Oops. Dust. Piston. Lock. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Are you in the right orientation now? What? Block. Peter on three tick play. Let's see. Should go out right there, yep. Peter on three tick delay. There's no reason for that. The delay doesn't matter too terribly. It'll affect the clock a little bit, but it's negligible. It just uh, affects what time it does stuff. Um, so what this is gonna do is every time this one switches, go, actually yeah, before we do that, I don't need that there anymore. 
you're gonna go like um, why must you be such a vital intersection through tick delay That's right, it doesn't truly really matter. Um, I can just do that. So what happens is stuff, stuff happens. When it gets to be midday, this one, no, no, bad. That's not what I want. Darn it. And yeah, I actually don't need a repeater there because it's repeaters on both sides there. I'm saying the word there a lot, so my yeah. Um <laughs> I'll put a repeater here because I need it. Actually. Um which means that right here. This can just be a redstone dust. You can be that thing. You can just be one tick too. I'm put one there as well. I'm gonna drop a piston of that. You're gonna be on three ticks delay. Let's put a torch down. It did cause a one tick pulse, which is not ideal. Uh, that's gonna turn off, and when you turn on. Gonna want to invert you, darn it. Um, <laughs> sorry, I've never done this part before. You get to see me kind of thinking out strategies. Um, you know, I'll pause it here and come back when I get everything worked out. Okay, so what I've done is I've inverted this line here. I moved the torch to this spot. This one powers the thing, correct? Yep. And when that one gets powered, it's going to emit a quick pulse. No, it's not. <laughs> Dang it. I thought I knew what I was talking about. Silly me. I'm going to drop you there for the block. And the dust. Sweet. That's working. I love it when things work. And that should really... I think this will do it. Um, every time. So the way this is going to work is that when it hits midnight, it's going to emit a pulse. When this one here, uh, right here, when you hit the thing. Actually, this one doesn't need to be in the center. That's right, we haven't finished the thing yet. Should this be two torches? We're in, yeah, so no inverse. And we're going to go... And make a small T flip flop. Drop a dropper. No. Dropper. Dropper. Hopper. And I'll drop a redstone torch in there. And stick our comparator, which I didn't grab. No, it's getting something. Yeah. And yeah, I'm using a modded Minecraft in instance, but I promise you, you can do this in vanilla. Um. Clicking noises are cool. Gonna go bloop. 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 No. Bloop. Bloop. And that should, keyword should work. And let's test it with a quick redstone pulse. Peter and go. So now, yeah, you should be off. And when I do this again, on, off, on, off. Yep. And that's exactly what it needs to do. Although I have realized I need to move you. Which, if 
probably probably make my life a little bit easier. Sorry, my dogs. Warning. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, one second. Let me pause this. Okay, so the dog's been fed, and I, you know, built up this little room here. The floor is slabs. It's to help, you know, kind of hide what we've done. Have this little building, which will be your clock tower. Um, well, I guess if you're gonna do it, you wanna knock out the corners and move them in. Mm, one, two, and oh, well, let's see. Let's let me do that off camera. Fix that because it's kind of bugging me. Okay, that's better. So you'd want to move this structure or build it at the very, very top. I need one of pillar torches from this block here. Uh, what is that? A whole block? It can be a half step. There we go. I found symmetric. Yeah, this little construction sticking up here, and you have all the redstone that we built before on the floor. This torch is just to fix the lighting glitch. That was a hopper, not a torch. And it took the. <laughs> oh man. Boy. So yeah. This is how you do it. So this torch here will connect to. Go into here. It'll connect all the way up to the pillar up torches until it hits the bottom of this torch here. And depending on the inverse of the, how what way the torch there is facing. So if this torch is on when you do it all the way up, then that means that um, it'll go this axis, and if it's off, it means it'll go this axis. And uh, you want to make sure that so if uh, when you hook it up, it's wrong. What you do is you grab a button, P T O N. I know I know I'm modded. Put the button there, and you go, and it, you know. Fifty foot flop, so it swaps it. You know, how, you know how it works. So you just do that until this clock lines up mostly correct with the day. You want it. so this if this light's on, then it means that it's between sunrise and noon. This light means between noon and uh, sunset. This light means between sunset and midnight. This site means between midnight and sunrise. So if one is, so if like these two are swapped, you just press the button and it'll swap them. Or no, it'd be this, these two or these two are swapped. And you push the button that swaps them. 